does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need I had a question. It's not regarding spiritualism, but uh, I see you as a, a graduate of IIT and engineer. You graduated from IIM, then you did civil services. So I wanted to ask that: you, How are you so versatile, and how was your time management? Like, how were you able to crack so many different fields, like commerce, science, and arts? I respect time a lot because I know. that uh, mm, everybody including me has only a limited supply of it so that's one thing that i really dislike a day badly spent mm? and that's a battle i always keep fighting check where your time is going ensure that not a moment is wasted Like how do you prioritize your tasks? What to do and when to do? No, you, you know what is important. That must be done. Where is the question of prioritization? You know what is important. Don't you know what is important? Everybody knows what is important. It says that we do not remain alert enough and sensitive enough and honest enough. In spite of knowing what is important, we do something else. Is that not the real problem? or is the problem that you do not know what is important i'm asking you please more often what is the problem not doing what not doing what you already know to be important so we already know at least what is relatively important that we know we might not know what is absolutely important but you know what is relatively important then why do you indulge in other things huh? and you must have a love for learning another name for deconditioning another name for love is learning in spite of uh, and irrespective of how occupied i am hmm, i carry multiple devices and more than 100 tabs are always open in each of them and i leave those tabs open because i revisit whatever i have read So, so I make it a point to to revisit, 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 and I'm always uh, reading. And uh, especially when everybody is gone, just a, a couple of hours before I finally uh, sleep off, I read a lot. If I can't read books, and I'm actually quite uh, disappointed, I can't read books uh, so much these days. I've uh, recently bought a this Kindle, hmm? yet not uh, started with it. I hope it uh, works well for me. But the mobile phone, that's my device. Uh, I I'm constantly, constantly, and not just curiosity. Very purposeful reading. I want to learn what is going on continuously. That's about uh, the world. that's about the objective universe and then the inner learning hmm? i love to keep an eye on myself just as i'm looking at you at this moment i'm also looking at myself so <clears throat> uh, i enjoy being sensitive to what is going on in the body in the mind and i and i love to catch myself coming up with uh, ready made reactions and i take it to be a thing of pride for want of a better word pride is not the best word but i take it to be a thing of pride to defeat myself if a situation arises today and if i have been in a similar situation 2 uh, years back 
I feel, I feel satisfied if my response today is better compared to what it was earlier. Uh, so, so that kind of challenge I keep giving to myself, a continuous fight against oneself so that one may improve. One may know learning is an infinite journey. You must know of what is going on in the world. There is just so much uh, uh, greatness, there is so much beauty, great works created uh, by <coughs> our predecessors, our ancients. You must know of them. That's called external knowledge, avidya. And equally, you must always be aware of what is happening within the emotions, the reactions, hmm? the frustrations, the anger, the happiness, the lust for pleasure. You must be conscious of all these things as they happen. And, and you must be able to watch them from a bit of a distance so that they don't overpower you. Hmm? So if you can, if you can know both these things, what's happening in the external world and what's happening in here, I think it will do you a lot of good. And I have another question. Like you did IIT, then IAM, then civil services, and today you are in a totally different field that did not require the your education qualifications. So do you have any regrets, like you wasted your time or you did uh, something wrong, you did not work on the field it's you are currently in? I wanted to be in Goa, right? And they say Jaipur is great in winters. So from Delhi, let's say I came to Goa via Jaipur. Having reached Goa, will you ask me, do you regret not being in Jaipur? First of all, Goa is great. Secondly, I never wanted to be in Jaipur. I didn't set out to be in Jaipur. Jaipur was just en route. It was one of the things that came along the way. I never intended to settle there. And the journey is such that it has to pass through several places. Any journey passes through several places. That does not mean you miss not being there. Is there any journey that does not pass through any place? Even if you are flying, they announce and they tell you that now you are flying over Bombay, now you are flying over... You always pass through certain places, right? You never intended to be there. It says that they were along the route, so I mean, fine. And this question is frequently asked. As a 17 year old, if you decide to go to IIT, I mean, what better could you have done? It's not the 44 year old me deciding to go to IIT, it's a 17 year old me. And that me could not have done any better. Hmm? Among all the available fields, that appeared to be the relatively better one. So I said, I'll go there. I've continuously talked of choosing the option that appears to be relatively the best one. Where I stood, right, in my class 12th. IIT, particularly IIT Delhi, appeared to be relatively the best option I had, so I went there. Having gone there, I saw a little more of the world and said, fine, fine, fine. Now this appears best, so I went there. It's a continuous journey. Hmm? People don't understand this. They talk as if the self is a fixed entity. They say, if you had to become a Baba, why did you waste a seat? <laughs> huh? As if when I was age three, I had decided on Prashant Advait Foundation. It all evolves. It all comes along the way. Thank you, sir.